Oh hi guys, this is the Cannondale Super 6 Evo High Mod Design Meeting. Uh, we got quite far on the design and we think we we're nearly finished. Uh, we've included this new feature where the fucking headset comes loose all the time. I'm sure the customers will love that, won't they, with a high performance machine they're paying four cunting grand for. Just going into a bit more detail here guys, we're going to make the steerer tube thin as fuck so that you can't clamp the stem down as tight as you need to to stop the fucking thing shifting. So if anyone does try and clamp it down as tight as possible, they'll crush their fucking steerer tube and then not be able to get a replacement fork from Cannondale because Cannondale are twats. Also, we're going to make the bearings really fucking annoying to get hold of and easy to rust. Another thing, uh, we're going to make it in a really shit factory that are literally unable to make two bearing seats parallel. So the bottom and top bearing seats don't sit straight, so your headset will never ever be fully tightened. It'll be tightened in one direction, you'll turn the bars 90 degrees, the fucking thing will come loose. We're Perfect. We're going to let out our forks and stem match. Yeah, that's right. Also guys, we've got some great news about the paintwork. Uh, the paintwork's going to be so shit that the logos don't line up. And they only line up one way at a time, not on both sides. Brilliant. And also the glossiness of the paint on the fork and the main frame are not going to match. And we are going to mould it so fucking badly on the top bearing seat that the included headset cover will rub against the fucking frame when you turn the handlebars around so you have to take it out and leave a raw bearing there for your sweat to go down onto when you put in a fucking effort. Candale, you need to fucking well get AIDS, all right? So there's a competition going on right now. A hundred dollars Australian cash if she can work out what I've taken from her bike and swapped onto my bike and vice versa. She's still trying to work it out. Well, it's got to be something simple and easy. Well, no, because I'm the greatest bike mechanic in the world, remember? As well as the hardest rider ever. The answer is, I swapped my inner tube for her inner tube because my valve stem was too short for my deep section rims. How do you he feel said, about this? He said it was visible. It is visible. It's not visible. It is visible. No. That's visible. What's that called? That's called the inner tube valve. No, it's a valve. The yeah. inner tube yeah. is in there behind yeah. the wheel. I wouldn't yeah. have seen it. They're all part of the same unit. No, I asked you, is it visible? Yeah, that's visible. No, it's not. That's, that's part of no, it. No, I don't care if it's part of it. Okay, riddle me this then. If I was walking down the street and I had my bell end sticking out of my trousers, just the tip of my penis, I could be arrested for indecent exposure. That is exposure, not the same thing. Right? And That's they would say the you had your thing. penis on display. No. That is the same as saying if you had your bell end out and the person was like, he was running down the street naked, but you were all clothed except for your dick. That is the same thing. The little dick is hanging out. It's not the inner tube. The problem was, right, my dick was too small, too short, right? So I had to get a longer one. So I had to, I had to resort to you. Well, my bike better feel the same. It's in, Your bike will feel the same. So if it feels the same, then why does it? Why did you have to swap them over? Because my valve was too short for my rims. These rims. Mm. Rest day breakfast. If you're not eating this for rest day breakfast, then you're not having a rest day. <laughs> Simple as that. We've got a bumper can of mother. <laughs> 500 mils of mother. You should see us through. Uh, full on Norman Bates action. Yeah, Oedipus. McDonald's chips, which some come eight at what time? Two o'clock in the morning after having a hissy fit, a sweaty hissy fit in bed, going, I'm hungry. And then ate a packet of chips in bed, didn't you? Hamburger, right? 100% quality Australian beef. <laughs> no, can we show them really what's in there? Yeah, sure. A bun. A bun with no fucking burger in it, which is insanity. It's gone a little bit. Why not just go and get some bread? And what are you going to put in it? Because these are yummy, they're different. And then I'm going to put in these fishless fillets. Fishless fillets. Vegan we're gonna make fish. A, we're going to fillet own fish. Filet of fish. Yeah, with a bunless, no, a burgerless fucking hamburger. Yeah, she's doing some dance at the moment, which I'm not videoing. Really <laughs> just, uh, just now. <laughs> Found a robot in the house. 
Yeah. Looking sideways, yeah. Baseball cap on. Baseball cap on backwards, red eyes, arms facing to the or left. Or if you take the baseball cap off, yeah. he's wearing a German World War II helmet. Yes, nice. He looks like one of the monkeys from Sadugetu. You ever played that? Mon Ape Escape? No? no. Oh, best PlayStation 1 game ever. Oh. Controversial, I know. Cleaning light switches around the ass. Right, guys, went down the. What happened there? I was like, nearly <laughs> joke. <laughs> That's going in. Take two. What? How good is this? And how how free are you by eating it? Um, I feel like on a scale of zero to veganista. Yeah. Veganista. Veganista is would be a twelve, wouldn't it? Yeah. On the on the scale of I veganism. Think so, yeah. All right. Um. Parallel correlation with cuntness, that's a cunt level 13, isn't it? Mm. Veganist to 12 equals cunt level 13. How many animals have you saved today? 12. Well, that's good. We've uh, we've broken even then today with my 12 that I've stamped to death now. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking little cunts. Do you know what I've done today? I've done two cats, all right? <laughs> a few spiders, yeah? A snake, all right? A Down syndrome child. <laughs> a downy. You're a liar. He's actually saved two spiders today. Yeah, yeah. And a beetle last night. Saved a beetle last night. Saved a moth the other day, didn't I? Yep, with your bare hands. My bare hands. Yeah, because I'm such a fucking alpha male. <laughs> as fuck mate, look at this. Flip flops or thongs as they call them over here. Those tissues, it's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> That's a bit of a bad boy machine though with that, fuck. Why did he have to do yellow though? Imagine that in red or black. Do you, Zoe? Ooh. That sounds good, doesn't it? What's this car doing, man? Hey, which lane are you in, bro? Fuck you now. Ambition Tour, which is her third tour. Third. Oh. And basically the blueprint for all pop concerts since 1990. That is one hell of a statement. Mm -hmm. One mm -hmm. hell of a statement. Right, let's get it on. <laughs> 